welcome fire sign I want to say thank you for being here this is going to be the love readings uh, for the month of March so fire sign people um, remember that you can pick up your own extended reading um, for love when you use the link on the link this video to um, go for your specific signs so let's see what is coming out for love for you in this period so what we have here is that we have spiritual growth so um, some of you are going to learn to love yourself but also um, you're going to be um, your relationship is going to be much much better okay so I see past life relationships are going to be coming up for you guys in this month this is going to be good and um, I see some blockage is coming up with some past life relationship so you could be re in relationships and there are blockages and I see it's coming up for um, you blonde women you are going to be having ready hair blonde women you could be having some real problems in your relationship in this month so let's go in and remember that this is the general energies and then we go deeper in the reading and we are going to be uh, checking out to see what is going to be coming up for each individual sign um, for the extended of these love readings you can always go check out um, the channel so let's see what is coming up for spiritual growth I see there is no communication so some of you communication is needed in your relationship however that is affecting you I see less communication I see some of you wanted um, a, um, a new start with a past life love but this new start is not going to be coming in in the month of March I see some of you are dealing with situations uh, and um, it has to do with uh, um, love new love that is coming in your life that the situations are really in a balance some of you um, are trying to open up yourself to love and is to offer a new start uh, however that is uh, um, we are going to be checking out to see what is going to be the blockages because I see some of you some of you younger women who are in relationships with married men I see that the wives could be finding out okay I see that the wives is going to be finding out that their husbands or in other relationships with you guys so, so let's see what is coming out for spiritual growth I see some of you are in a relationship that is getting stronger and stronger this is wonderful this is positive so we're going to see um, the people who it is coming up for then we see let go of control issues so a lot of you fire signs are dealing with control issues you wanted to have um, a new start with a relationship with someone from a past or an ex but it's not going to be happening because you were controlled and you control the person in a relationship some of you want a new start with love but this is blocked at the moment so whatever is transpiring in the month of March a new love is blocked at the moment um, it's coming in but right at this moment in March it's going to be blocked I see some codependency whatever is transpiring I see some of you are dealing with the issues of codependency so when we look at love in this month um, um, for you fire sign people it's really a month where a lot is transpiring because I see some of you um, are having codependency but some of you are hoping for new love to come in it's it's really blocked in this month however it's transpiring I see um, it's a block codependency is uh, here and some of you who were having relationships with married men I see that um, their wives are going to be finding out so um, I see some of you if you're in a relationship with a Virgo or a cancer um, I see some of you you need to try and let this relationship grow um, I see there is some blockage in this relationship and you need to let it grow now some of you are be um, are very controlling 
um, in a relationship with a Capricorn and a Cancer so if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn and a Cancer I see some control issues are coming up there you need to be aware of this some of you are going to be meeting an Aquarius or a Cancer very soon okay it's not gonna happen in this month some of you wanted a new start with an Aquarian or a Cancer it has been blocked in this month whatever the issues is check out the extended reading to find out why codependency is here and some of you who were in relationship with married men these married men could have been um, Aries you Aries um, um, you could be finding out um, that uh, um, your relationship there could be a third party um, um, some of you were in relationship with cancers you could be finding out that there are third parties in your relationship some of you were in relationship with Capricorns I see a lot of codependency so you could be in a relationship with these people and there are a lot of codependency that is happening so um, really be aware because what is transpiring is that blockages are in your um, love relationship however this is transpiring there are blockages that is coming up it's as if some of you wanted to move forward some of you wanted a new relationship but there is so much blockages that is transpiring there is a lot of situation where communication is going to be the key in your relationship because I'm seeing some of you who are dealing with the Virgos and the cancer communication needs to come in your relationship however some of you wanted to return to a Capricorn or a cancer this is not going to be happening because they found out that you are a bit controlling so they are deciding to stay away from um, the relationship this relationship so it's kind of weird and um, what is friends fine is that um, you fire sign need to communicate communicate um, uh, more openly okay whatever is transpiring when it comes on to love it is very um, if you're in a relationship with someone else um, a married person definitely um, because it's as if you're in a relationship with this married person because of uh, um, you know this person could be helping you out financially um, there seems to be some problems and some issues because their uh, wives are going to be finding out about this so um, it is um, a very rough month for love for you fire sign um, because there's a lot of issues and there's a lot of situation in your relationship that needs to be worked out and needs to be looked at so be aware of that so um, ladies and gentlemen for a dune um, we are going to be looking first at the Aries um and there is a link below that is going to take you to um your destination whether you're aries leo or sagittarius or ophiosis there is a link below that is going to take you to their destination so we are going to be beginning looking at uh, um the aries to see what is coming out for the aries so i see children and i see that some of you deserve love and some of you are lovable now whenever these two energies comes out what it is saying is that some of you your relationship is affected by kids and i see some of you are seeing the truth of a situation if you're in a relationship with a liberal you could be finding out and seeing the truth of this situation however this is transpiring and this is coming up I see that you are going to be realizing that you deserve love okay um, some of you are going to be realizing that um, if you um, Aries are in a relationship with an Aquarian um, or a Libran this is going to be a good relationship so children seems to be coming up some of you want to get pregnant some of you will get pregnant um, if you're um, looking for um a partner um you're going to be finding this partner um in an aquarius or in a libran as we look at open relationship i see some of you are married but you want to have a open marriage so um you liberals who are married i see that you're married but you're looking because you want to have an open marriage and i see um, that uh, if you're married with a with a Virgo I see you want to have an open marriage I see money is going to be coming in so let's say that um, you are you're married but yet still um, um, you're married to someone who is very rich and I see that this is definitely going to be working out for you um, 
and I, I, I think um, some of you are going to be shifting your marriage to an open marriage. And I see you're going to be working on it and you're going to be happy um, that you, you know, you're going that route. OK, because people are saying open marriage. Yes, a lot of people are doing open marriage because some people don't want to break up. But some people realize that the loss, the attraction between you and another person is not there. So in order, um, you know, to be, a f f um, you know, um, it's like society expect that you need to be married. So I see some of you, if you're looking um, for a relationship, some of you will find um, a very rich um, scorpion or Taurus or a Sagittarian. But this person has money and I see that you might end up marry in this person okay so let's say you were in an open relationship with uh, a scorpio um a taurus or a sagittarius i see that um you might just end up marrying this person this person is financial stability and i see that you guys are going to be working on the marriage and it is looking good so past love is here and i see some of you need to give and open up yourself to a past love i see the conflicts is over some of you um a past love is coming back and you need to open up your heart to this person because the conflicts between you and this person is now over okay so here it is past love open up your heart to love so however this is coming up and however this is transpiring um, some of you are exes returning in your life it is a good time if you really want to go in a relationship with this person to um, accept this person back in your life because I see if you open up your heart to this person I said see they're going to love you like anything else and there is um, the conflicts that you had with an ex is now going to be over so some of you um um and 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 pisces so some of you could have had some conflicts with a pisces and a cancer so if you're aware in a relationship with a uh, pisces or a cancer i see this conflicts is over i see that maybe they want to return to you and it is up to you whether or not you wanted to return to this person um some of you um who were having conflicts whatever this conflicts was all about and why the relationship has ended i see that these people are coming back and they want a new chance young people i see you're getting on with it because people especially entrepreneur um people between the age of 25 and older i see 25 and 50 i see that you are meeting people on the work for a passionate relationship you are meeting people via via however you're meeting people i see this is transparent and this is happening um this um looks really really um positive for some of you because you are um, meeting people from past life and these people are coming in and the passion between you and these people some of you could be um in a relationship and if you're in power you're in a relationship with your boss this is going to be over okay so if you are in a relationship with your boss that is an aquarius or a libran i see this relationship is going to be over i see some of you are in some passionate connection with uh, aquarius and librans this is looking good for you guys however way um you choose to be in this relationship i see that these are relationships are going to be coming out in a positive way i see um you deserve love some of you want to get married and it is safe to open up your heart to love some of you are in um um or or reconnecting um with people from past life they're open up to the love um you're open up to the love and this is going to be good what i also see here is that i see some of you are understanding how to work on your relationships and i see you're going to be working on your relationship so that there, there is no more conflicts between you and your partner and this is going to be good because i see the power struggle is going to be out of the relationship and that is going to be good a lot of you are going to be connecting with aquarians and librans i see a lot of positive relationship with the aquarians and the libran this is where you can find your twin flame and soulmates now what i'm seeing is that um some of you are connecting or some of you who are married is going to be finding out that your Pis your partner is either seeing a Pisces 
um, a Taurus or a Sagittarius okay so if you're married you could find out that your partner is either seen a Pisces a cancer or a Sagittarian so however that is working out for you some of you um, I see um, the conflicts between you and a, um, a Pisces and a cancer is over so if you were in a relationship with a Pisces and a cancer the conflicts is over some of you might be opening up yourself to the Leos and is falling in love with the Leos. So, however, that is coming up for you, Sagittarian. It is really a month. In order to see your extended reading, you have to choose. Um, you have to definitely um choose um to connect um with the channel, and there you can pick up your extended um readings for this month. But there is just a lot that is happening with exes coming back x is coming back you're trying to end up conflicts i see you connecting with a lot of aquarians and liberans and the relationships are very very easy very nice good flowing relationships that is coming in um but um for um some of you who were seeing your bosses your boss's wife is going to be finding out that you had a relationship with your boss engagement and marriage is up for um okay so that was it for the aquarians we're looking at the leos leos engagement and marriage is up for you in this month however this is coming up and however this is transpired i see you leos could be getting engaged or married and getting married okay so this could be something very very quick this could be with an aquarian okay uh yeah this could be with an aquarian i see the marriage that is going to be play, taking place is a marriage of uh, um uh it's not a real marriage it is a marriage for paper documents or a marriage for a stay so it's not really a real marriage okay it is just that you need to get married to someone so you could get your papers and stay i see you could be getting married to a sagittarius or a gemini However, this is happening and um, this is a paid marriage. It's not a marriage of love. It is a paid marriage because it's deceptive. Um, it is not, you're not going to, you Leos are not going to be marrying for love, but you're going to be marrying to someone to either give them their say, stay in a country or in a state, or you are going to be um, trying to do the same thing. But it has to do with a Sagittarian and a Gemini, a Sagittarian and a gemini so leos be careful what you do because these things always backfire because you know there is no way in god's um name that i could be and you know people do things but there's always a catch and always a backfire to what you do there's a lot of dating going on with you liberals uh leos a lot of dating going on with you leos and I see that you're dating people out of your own race, and that is good, multicultural. Um, so this is going to be very positive. So I see a lot of datings, men and women are dating, and they're dating different people and from out different uh, cultures, okay? There could be also same-sex dating that is coming up. That is also good. So positive alignment of energies. I see some of you are having some issues on the dating scene okay you could be a ras but some of you are not happy having issues some of you could be um not happy with a relationship with a um pisces or a taurus okay so there is not a success with a relationship with a pisces and a taurus however that is coming up if you're dating a pisces and a taurus there is no success um in this relationship there is not going to be so you could be dating meeting these people but it's, it's it's not going to be a positive alignment of energies i see some of you young women um or um picking up these unrequired love okay you are attracted so you're attracting people and you're attracting the wrong sort of a people to you there is not enough attraction or a chemist to keep a relationship going so whatever is transpiring between you young ladies you are attracting the wrong people in your life however this is coming up however this is transpiring with you i see you're attracting the wrong people in your life and um um you here is gotta be you leos i see you want to leave some 
unrequired relationship behind you however this is playing out i see these relationships no longer serve you and you want to leave them behind you it has to do with an aquarian and for some of you and some of you it have to do with a cancer so some of you leos are in a relationship with an aquarian some of you are in a relationship with a cancer and i see you want to end this relationship and move forward because you realize that is unrequired love okay some of you are going to be meeting um a woman this woman could a pisces cancer or scorpion or this woman could be in a doctor or a, um someone in the legalities i see you're meeting this person and it was as if you have been really meeting uh, longing to meet someone like this um and this person is finally coming up and finally coming in your life it's as if you know that this person was out there um this person is coming up as an aquarian so definitely an aquarian some of you are going to be meeting an aquarian and you know this is going to be the love of your life now this aquarian could be in a relationship with a capricorn or a uh, or a um um or another leo okay so um you could be in a relationship with a capricorn and i see you're going to be ending this relationship or um yeah if you're a man and you're in a relationship with this capricorn you're going to end the relationship in order to go um with a um an aquarian and it's okay it's fine because you both were meant to be because um um you are leos so um you're not connected in no shape and form um this person that is here some of you ladies are in a relationship with a um another a, 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 an, an aries person and this aries person is married to a capricorn and this um capricorn woman is going to be finding out that you are the third party in her relationship so whoever you are out there i see you are married to an aries person and whatever is transpiring, um, some of you could be married to an Aries person, some of you are married to a Capricorn person, but whoever you're married to is going to be finding out that there is a third party out there. Okay, so you could be with a married man, and I see you're going to be finding out that there is a third party out there. Whatever is transpiring, some of you Le Leos are going to be ma getting married for the wrong decision, and you're going to be creating some drama is going to be coming up in your life because uh, this marriage was not meant to be okay and i see some of you marrying to either uh, um um you're marrying to a sagittarius or a virgo but this is not going to last because uh, it wasn't meant to be okay oh uh, mm -mm. it's not meant to be you're just marrying to get papers or stay someplace it's not going to be working out okay so um yeah leo it is a lot i see um issues um with marriage i see some of you who are married is going to be finding out that there is a third party in your marriage so you leos who are married or um yeah leos who are married there is a third party in your marriage so be aware of that all right let's look at saggy what is coming up for the sagittarius sagittarius are in um love triangle now this love triangle has something to do with love triangle at the workplace so however this is coming up some of you sagittarius could be in love triangle at the workplace or you are realizing that because of financial or career because it could be that you're in a love triangle because um you love someone but the financial stability isn't there so i see these energy of love triangle is coming up some of you are, are having love triangle on the work floor however this is coming up i see that some of you um is with a capricorn or is seen a capricorn on the work floor um or you and a capricorn is in a love triangle now that is going to be ended because i see um some of you are going to be getting involved with an aquarian um whoever this aquarian is i see that you love this aquarian but you could be married to a taurus okay 
and it's as if you're looking for freshness in your relationship so however this is coming up i see love triangles is happening with the capricorns the aquarian and the tauruses so be aware of this because i see if you are having these love triangle on the work floor or some people are going with other people for money free you want to be free some of you sagittarius want to be free um you want to be free to choose you want to be free because you are looking for your soulmate and if you're in a relationship i see that this is the month that you are thinking about to get free nine of cups and and you are going to be happy um, once you make the decision to free yourself, you're definitely, definitely going, going to be happy. Nine of Cups is here. So some of you um, needs to free yourself from a relationship, okay? And open up yourself by asking the universe to send your soulmate in, okay? Because what I'm seeing is that some of you could be divorcing. Um, and you could be divorcing a cancer but I see um, there is a situation with a Pisces for some of you. Now, um, a Pisces could be loving Pisces or just someone who is always looking for a, a fix of love. Okay, so Pisces will be in long-term relationship, but it's just out there looking for a fix of love. They want to feel as if they're always in love. So you've got to be aware of this Sagittarius because this person... Um, I don't see this person leaving their relationship. Um, so um, some of you Sagittarians are freeing yourself from a marriage and you could be freeing yourself from a marriage of a Pisces. Um, but I see that a cancer is going to be coming in. Now, you're making the same mistake because these are not the right people to be in relationship with. You fire sign people have to look towards the air sign people, the Aquarius, the Gemini, and the Libra. But I see some of you are going to be finding your soulmate. As soon as you free yourself from a relationship, I see your soulmate is going to come right in. A lot of you are dating and uh, I see you're springing too quickly um like you're opening yourself too much to people okay so you could be dating but you're opening yourself too quickly um too easily to people so you know when you're dating you need to understand what you say to people what you don't say to people but i see a lot of help is going to be coming in um especially people who you're dating let's say you're dating, you're on the dating scene, you're looking for a job. I see people are going to be hooking you up, okay? Um, I see also you could be dating, and if it doesn't work out with someone, I see someone coming in. I see some of you are um, dating a Virgo, and um, you need to get to know this person before you get further involved with this person. You need to get to know the person before you get further involved with this person. Some of you are dating um, a scorpion and it is only for money. Whatever is transpiring, you know, you, it's better for you to take the Libran. Whoever is dating a scorpion is only for money, but I see that a scorpion could be helping some of you and connecting you with a Libran. Whoever this Libran is, this Libran is the right person um, for you Sagittarians, okay? Um, but a scorpion, whoever is is dating a scorpion, it is only for the money. So um, be aware of this because um, I see that a Virgo is he. Um, this is um, um, this is a um, a, a Taurus. Some of you, whoever this Taurus is, you gotta be a, a, a open minded to this Taurus because some of you are dating a Taurus. This person is financial stable. Maybe they don't look that way, but they are. So I'm seeing a mature man coming up here. So older men, I see a separation. Um, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you older men, I see you're going to be separating um, from your partner. So you older Sagittarius men, I see you definitely. I see you're thinking about separating from your partner because it's no longer this relationship that you're in, especially you older men, is no longer serving you. So definitely I see a separation is coming up for you men from your partners. However, that is, I see an older man 
out there that is deciding to separate from his his partner however because and the separation is coming because of some deceptive people is um using negative forces it's as if uh, there are um you know during the sleep time people are using negative forces that's why you should protect yourself via the the, the sleep time so you men it's as if you realize that this relationship no longer serves you that you men could be not to, uh, you know you don't deal with negative forces and that sort of a thing and your partners believe in it and it's affecting you and it's not something you want to be in okay so you're ending this relationship it could be with a cancer so there there's going to be some huge cause or a pisces yeah i say a cancer so people who are in relationship with a pisces or a cancer older men i see that you could be decided in this month to really end this relationship i see you are going to be um because whoever this person is um is creating some illusion so um definitely if you're in a relationship with a pisces or uh, or a cancer i see you're ending the relationship especially if it's a cancer you're definitely going to be ending this relationship because i see some negative forces at work here and you 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 kind of realize it and you're thinking no this is not what i want to be in so i see financial and career so some of you could be really connecting with people on the work floor it never works out ladies and gentlemen not all the time i see some of you need to keep your mind about um you know keep your mind about a relationship with a, a pisces this person wants to free themselves or you want to be free from this person and um however it plain you, you you guys need to be open up to the energies okay um some of you were in relationship with a libran you need to give this libran a chance so for the extended of this reading use the link join the channel it's just a dollar 99 all right let's move to ophiosis some fun time is coming up for the ophiosis and i see ophiosis are going to be really expressing their love in this month so this is good finally um ophios is just going to be opening up you're going to be having some fun um, especially if you're in a relationship i see you're really going to be open up to your partner you're going to be easy easy does it in this month for you ophios this is looking so beautiful it's about easy does it for you ophios in this month um and i said easy does it and we have the energy of the angman um so you're not out there looking for love you are um just healing whatever relationship you're in and you're just um um staying put so i see some of you men are going to make a decision whether between a capricorn and a aries so whatever is transpiring i see you men really sitting down there and thinking in this month should i make a decision um because i have fun with a capricorn where the aries is is is, is 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 like they don't express love nothing but i have more fun with the capricorn so i see some of you are going to be making some decision whether or not i see short terms relationship is coming up i see um some of you need to make the effort with a relationship let someone know how you feel make the effort I see great love is worth taking the, the step towards uh, making the effort. So I see some short term situation um, relationship that is going to be happening. And if you want these to be longer, you got to make the effort. I see a Pisces Cancer Scorpion is offering you something um, and you need to make the effort. Yeah, this is a Scorpion woman that is um, offering you love. Okay, so I see you off your says um is connected with a scorpion woman this person is trying to offer you love but i see um your interest isn't there for this person whoever this person is it's as if you know you're being offered love either from a scorpion either from a, a, an um an aries i see this aries or the scorpion is offering you love but it's as if you're not really open up um for the energy of this okay it can happen i see you young ladies are all over the place romantic feelings and 
and and and all of that is going on ladies just keep your energy hold your energy back whatever is happening ladies hold your energy back because um you know you can roam when you're young and all these romantic feelings and all these extended partners and different things um but what is coming up here i see some of you ladies are going to decide to go work in a corporation but um in a, in a sex club or something like that um some of you are having extra um love thing on the work floor all right um i see some of you are having ex you know if you work in a if you're a stripper or you work in a sex club i see you know like the bosses wants to have a relationship with you if it's a pisces or a um or a virgo they're fantasizing over you um there's a lot of fantasizing over you so you could be you know working in a corporation institution and i see this also but i'm seeing this as a sex club and um there is a pisces and a virgo that is interested in you young ladies y you know young ladies protect yourself because even if you're working in these sex clubs and the sex industry you got to be aware of what you do and how you shed your energies okay you um chocolate brown men need to lose and release your ex okay you chocolate brown men need to release your your ex if you don't do that you're going to be coming in some huge problem because you're holding on on this ex and this ex already move forward okay some of you are holding on on uh yeah they're they have already moved forward okay so you chocolate brown men are really having some issues letting go of the ex but they have moved forward okay they no longer want you in um their scheme of things they are ready move forward i see some of you um if your ex is a a virgo you need to release this person okay if your ex is a virgo you need to release this person because they have moved on it is very hard it is not one of the easiest thing um, when you realize that you're, you know, you're still in love with this person, but you have to call upon the angels and guides and ask them to help you to release. Because as you release this person, and the situation in your life, you're going to be realizing how um, this situation that you need to release the ex because here. Yeah. Um, a lot of you are holding on on the ex. And if you're holding on a Virgo uh, or a Taurus, this is coming up as a Taurus. You got to release the ex, okay? I see some of you are going to uh, um, are going to be meeting a Sagittarian. And this is good. The Sagittarian is going to bring inspiration in your life. Some of you could be uh, meeting a Virgo that is going to bring inspiration in your life. Not until you release the Taurus, you can't move on. So, however, it is affecting especially people and for the people who are holding on on their ex that is a taurus a sagittarius and a virgo this person has already moved on so let it go so this month is about expressing love make the effort to show show romantic um so your partner romantic feelings and releasing the ex because without you guys releasing the ex there is no way you can move forward in your life so be aware of this what is transpiring i love you guys in order to receive the extended of this reading because all these readings have extension um you got to um go pick up um the online join and it's just a dollar 99 to join and then you will receive all these um extra readings so however it is coming up however it is transpiring release your ex is the word for you um ophiosis and then you can move forward in your life i do appreciate um you guys um remember that this is um use the link in order to pick up your reading okay namaste